Hi, and welcome to Politics Tech Lightning. In this episode, I will walk you through the step-by-step -step on how the cost increases as you secure your environment and workload in Azure. After all, we want to have the most secure environment, but there's always a cost trade-off attached to us. So let's break it down and look into it. Here we go. We are going to do this on quite a high level with a primary focus on security. Let's look at our fixtures customer called Politics Tech Lightning. They have developed a mobile app that gives its user information about important dates in their community. They were looking for a hosting platform and in the end decided that application will land on Azure. The decision for Azure was actually also based on future company expansion and new workloads. They do have an existing tenant called Politics Tech Lightning at dot on Microsoft.com. However, they do not have any presence nor subscriptions in Azure. We will set up the subscriptions and management structure according to the enterprise scale landing zone from Microsoft, which is part of their cloud adoption framework. It may seem a little bit like overkill, but the company have plans to expand their footprint in the near future. Also to note, subscriptions are not what's costing money. It's actually the resources and how you utilize them that will generate cost. So with that in mind, we decided to put up all the core subscriptions, even though initially they will be empty. It will allow us to quicker deploy resources when the requirement finally is there. So these are the subscriptions we will create. We have the connectivity subscription. This is for in case we want a firewall, DNS resolver, or other network focused shared services. Management subscription. Here we centralize a log analytics workspace for the platform logs. We have an identity subscription in case we want Entra ID domain services. And then we come to the landing zone subscriptions. Now this is where the actual application and workloads will land. So as you can see, we have several subscriptions, but at this moment, there's no cost and there's no resources in there. So let's start with stage one. The application will be web-based where we have decided to go for the app service plan with two web apps. We're not going to go overboard and both web apps will be configured as Linux as the operating system, standard tier, and an S3 instance, which has four cores and seven gigabytes of RAM. Each instance is about 270 euros a month, which in total for both of them amounts to 540 euros. Usually there's also a test and staging environment. However, we will not include that in the current scope. We do need a small database and we opted for an Azure Cosmos DB for MongoDB with limited request unit. It will be serverless, so, so it will cost only about 50 euros per month. So we're going for the absolute minimum there. Now this setup will technically work. The user's mobile devices are connecting directly to the API instance of their web app. The API in its turn is communicating with the CMS web app and the Cosmos DB. Without taking into account any special network traffic, backup, redundancy, or other components, we start at roughly 550 euros per month for hosting this infrastructure in Azure. Now, let's move on to stage two, where we realize that it, this is not a very secure environment. The application is directly exposed from the internet without any protection. And to solve this, we really need an application gateway with a web application firewall. So it's recommended to place this resource close to the application and not as a shared service in the connectivity subscription. Adding the application gateway with a web application firewall, it increases the cost with 430 euros per month. We're now starting to make good progress, but we're seeing the monthly total bill is now around 985 euros. With the application gateway, we had added some security. Now let's move on to stage three and improve this even further. We have totally forgotten about monitoring. We will need to create an Azure Log Analytics workspace in the management subscription. This will be used for the platform logs. And here we can count of cost around 20 euros per month. Not super expensive. And we actually didn't factor in additional costs such as network traffic, uh, granted that it's fairly small cost of this one. For the application itself, we create a log analytics workspace in the application landing zone. We start off with five gigabytes of basic logs, which lands us around 95 euros per month. 
So we mean we have now increased the total cost of 1100 euros on a month. And now we're going to stage four. What else can we do to improve security? You know it, private endpoints. They are about seven to eight euros a piece per month. So in total, this adds 23 euros uh, if we exclude uh, endpoints and the log analytics for the log analytics workspace. So we'll also add Azure private DNS zones, but the cost is negligible for this uh, small environment. We're now looking at around 11.23 euros per month. But wait on, we're not done yet. We move into stage five for additional improvements. Naturally, network security groups are configured where applicable. When you are at this stage, you can start to focus on other areas such as Entra ID with conditional access policies and other security mechanisms. Also, redundancy along with a solid backup strategy becomes very important. If we want to increase the security even more, we can install an Azure Firewall with a premium SKU in the connectivity subscription. Now, this resource will be shared for the entire landing zone, allowing it to perform IDPS, intrusion detection and prevention system. It works very well in tandem with the Azure Application Gateway. With the eye of expanding the landing zone to the Azure Firewall, it also functions as a forward proxy with security and URL whitelisting. We don't want a full and unregulated internet access from the landing zone to the internet. URLs has to be whitelisted and approved before the applications can make outbound connections. The Azure Firewall Premium will add an extra cost of around 1250 euros per month, resulting in a total of 2373 euros on our monthly bill. We're not done yet. We're looking at stage six now, which is the final one for this video. There's much more to setting up a secure landing zone than what I've gone through up and up till now. There are some additional controls and I want you to take them into consideration because they should be thought of. Governance. Do not forget about governance. Use Azure policies as guardrails to define what you can and cannot be done in the landing zone. Microsoft Sentinel for logging. Well, it's a good thing to have a SIM system in place because we have to upgrade our log analytics workspace. But just for 5 GB basic logs, 20 GB of auxiliary logs, which are used for, for the Azure Firewall, we are adding around 280 US per month. Think about connectivity with on-premise using a standard Azure Express route. Metered plan and only one circuit as 100 megabits per second. 110 euros per month, which is excluding the cost that you pay to the express route provider. We have and should be thinking of Azure Private DNS resolvers. Uh, if you set them up with a couple of rule sets, it lands you about 190 euros per month. And of course, we cannot forget all the key resources. Some of them have negligible costs, depending on what the options you choose. But we have storage accounts, we have key vaults. Uh, also, lastly, do not forget about backup and redundancy, as I've mentioned. As you can see, the environment and security requirements they scale very well and easily within Azure. However, there are always trade-offs and costs depending on how secure you want the environment to be. So I always recommend up to put up a solid foundation in place using the Enterprise Scale Landing Zone, which allows you to easily scale up and out your Azure environment. That's all I had for this episode of Public Tech Lightning. Until next time, take care. See ya.